All right, guys, welcome back. Popper MTG, Fragrance of Dan, aka Rob of Dew, <laughs> playing some spicy zombies here. Dan at the sticks, controlling this one. I, uh, this is kind of a similar hand to the one we had last time, except for I think this one's better. Are we on the play or the draw? We are on the. I don't know. If you look at the chat, you can kind of this little speech bubble this down thing there. Down here. Yeah. Uh, we're on the draw. All right, I think this is fine to keep on the draw. Actually. All right, we'll do it. I'll trust you, Rob. <laughs> trust me again. Well, this will you, be your final mistake. Well, uh, going against Hobo Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. The big Joe Reno. Uh, you can actually take the stop off the upkeep if you want to. I don't really care. Dan doesn't care. Oh no! Jungle. Oh, he gained a life. What Could the this fuck? be the uh, the dreaded tier one dredge deck? <laughs> um, wasn't it delve? Delve. Dredge delve. All right, we got Carnifage. All right. All right, we got one drops for days. Uh, so first we're gonna run out the Carnifage, I guess. Well, mm -hmm. I can't yet. But oh yeah, I know. I'm, just saying. I think I'm, I'm glad you know. Contemplating what's I'm gonna happen you know. in the future. Yeah. All right. Does he scoop to Baron more? <laughs> <laughs> he does not. Okay. And uh, he does play. Oh, what? Said Scorpion. That card is going to wreck us, actually. <laughs> is it? I end a Typhoon Rats. Oh no! Typhoid Rats. Typhoon sorry. Rats. Shut up. <laughs> Watch out! The tide comes in. <laughs> the rats come out. Ooh, all right, okay. So we got this. I play this land. Uh, we do play the land. Let's just drop two uh, zombies. Probably Carrion Feeder and Carnivage. Okay. Uh, do you think he might be trying to do like a Death Touch ping sort of sort of deal? I have no idea. I don't think there's any like ping cards in black though, or like an enchantment that would make his creatures ping. I still have no idea. I'm gonna, okay. be, I'm gonna be honest. Dan has no fucking clue. He doesn't care. I don't know much about this format. All I know is that he has one more life than we do, and we're losing because of that. But uh, we do have the same amount of creatures. We we do have that. Maybe Fuck we, me. No, he, he does have it. Okay. It. I don't think we can beat this, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. He is going to kill all our things. Oh. Yeah, I should have thought of Iridian Longbow before I did the thing. Uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we just try and trade with his dudes. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, block with the carrying feeder. I mean, not the carrying feeder. The carnifage, because carrying feeder cannot block and do not sack to the thing either. No. We want to kill all of his things. <laughs> Get them out of play forever. Sure. Um. Let's see. Your best draw would be probably swamp actually. We can, oh yeah, because I mean, if we can just keep setting up things for him to kill. <laughs> then he'll have infinite things to kill. Exactly. Uh, I have one um, goal. Yeah, I have one ghoul. Let's make right. most of our mana. Might as well. And uh, swing for one with the carrying feeder. Cause yeah, absolutely, yeah, because then you can either trade or not trade. God, this is a. Uh... Hmm. You know what, guy? Your deck probably loses to Hexproof, so... <laughs> it probably loses to Delve, too. It's Actually, like... no, it's probably pretty good against Hexproof. Fuck. And probably Delve. Hexproof? How could it be good against Hexproof? Uh, because he can just block with his creatures. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Tragic <laughs> Slip. What? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay. He could have sacked the Highborn Ghoul in response. But we don't oh. want to do that. Well, because he can't block our Intimidate guy until he plays another... Typhoid rat, but he's not gonna do that because he's just gonna. Bladed pinions. What the fuck? Oh, he's trying to give his guy first strike and death touch. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't have any artifact hate, do we? All right, best draw would be nameless inversion. <laughs> he's not gonna swing, even though he can't block our guy. Uh, yep, yeah, that's true. Uh, that one's pretty good. I think we run that guy out instead of the intimidate guy, just so he can come back. You know. Yeah. You know? With a vengeance. By the way, this is a card we replace for a wretched Aignorid. Uh, in this particular scenario, he seems better. Okay. Swing for two. Dude. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. First strike and death touch. What? <laughs> Alright, we really need to hit those nameless inversions. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's our sideboard tech here, anyway? Uh, we bring in all of our removal spells. <laughs> we have, like, one of them, don't we? Uh, we have the four of... Yeah, like the witch thing. Yeah, we have Kumbaj Witches, and we have uh, Chainer's Edict. What the hell is he? Oh. 
Why not the longbow to just kill all my I shit? I think I think I was three to equip. Oh. Oh, so he stalled out on land two. Yeah. Okay, so now I mean, it doesn't matter, though, because he still can't. So as it turns out... Uh, so what, he's just going to hit us for one every turn? Oh, yeah, sorry. As it turns out, Highborn Goal would have been better there. What do you know? No, he's just going to be on the defensive, I think. No, he's going to hit no. us. Okay, that seems pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> guy? Hey, friend. Also, right. Yeah, because I couldn't block that even if I wanted to. Yeah. Which I don't. What a dummy. All right. Uh... Carnophage and Carrion Feeder seem good here. All right. Just get out the most power possible. The most stuff to deal with. You know, I thought uh, we were going to lose this game, but we probably are still going to lose this game. No, 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 no. Uh, attack with everybody. Get in there. Yeah, absolutely. I know how to turn cards sideways, Rob. <laughs> That's the one thing I've taught him. <laughs> <laughs> but the cards are sideways now. <laughs> All right, big money, don't hit land and kill all of our creatures. Big money, don't... It's why I could never play Don't ever hit a land again. That's the... All right, what you got, Hobo Joe? Hobo Joe. Oh! All right, whatever you He can only ping off one of our dudes at a time, though. Yeah, and uh, we just... Oh, he can also block and ping. But not the... Intim we should have played the Intimidate dude, then. Yeah, we should have, but there's Oh, no but he can just ping that off, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Um. Yeah, he's just gonna. All right. Uh, best draw, nameless inversion, obviously. <laughs> yep. Still, uh, still hoping for that nameless inversion. We're gonna pay the life here. Okay. Ooh, swamp. That does nothing for us at the moment. Um... So really, uh, the highborn ghoul have been way better here. Just attack with everybody. And. Uh, if he doesn't block the carrion feeder, sack the guy. He blocks and pings to the carrion feeder. Sure. Okay, get in there. Fire away. Ah, <laughs> oh, why are we just losing to said scorpion? Like stupid... <laughs> Can't even. How's he even holding this longbow? Oh, he doesn't even block and ping. That seems really bad. So he's pinging it. Yeah. So wait. So a second response to that. Oh, he sent me a message. What do you say? Whoops. He forgot to block and ping. Alright, so he knows how to do that at least. Okay, uh, so you click the carrying feeder. Sure. Then click the uh, carnivage. And then we hit him for six. Bada bing. Oh, you know what? I should have played this first. Uh, Yeah, that's true. Okay. But actually, no, it's not. Because we have better stuff to do with our mana this turn. Do we? Oh, yeah, we can just play the Ghoul Razor. Yeah, we get Ghoul Razor back. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Everything's uh, everything's going good. I hit Wait, him. no, not okay. Oh what? <laughs> I'm so used to hitting okay. He everything is not okay, Dan. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no, we're gonna get the nameless inversion off the top. We didn't play the swamp either. I know. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. I'm just like it's like hit okay. Hit okay, okay, don't worry. Okay. Every, all is not lost. Uh, we can cycle our. Ooh. Let's cycle our jump ball in response and hope he tries to kill something. Oh. Well, well, wouldn't I wait until he tries to kill something? Uh, yeah, but he's not going to do that until our turn, because he needs to block and ping. He okay. knows this. So I should just... Uh... Go to his end step and then cycle. And now a Nameless Inversion doesn't even do it, but uh, Ghoul Razor into... Ghoul Razor getting back Nameless Inversion can do things. <laughs> and uh, put that on the stack, targeting him. Hit OK. Touch ping dot deck. <laughs> it's. Uh, I can't believe you're playing this in the tournament practice room. <laughs> a bold move. I like it. Yes. Uh, but what if I don't? All right. He did the correct play, and he did not uh, choose to. Right, right. Because then he couldn't block and ping. Yep, you got it. Okay. That would have been a thing. Okay. Uh, uh, more ghoul razor is, I think. Or no, can we play two things? I have to play Glory Razor. Yeah. Well, they don't have to. You know. You know we'll, what play, I mean. we'll play Glory Razor. Yeah. Well, yeah. So. Let's run out the Gularino here. Yeah, I know I'm doing it. Let's run out the big Gularino. Don't hit OK and skip your turn, whatever you do. <laughs> well, do we want to attack here? Because can he just, like, fuck us all up? Yeah, we're not going to attack here. Okay. Um, He's probably going to kill the Carrion Feeder here. 
Not if I sacrifice it to itself. <laughs> Carnophage, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all right. And we now we can play uh, two zombies next turn. And just make our army, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, I was thinking about building a deck like this, and um, I came to the conclusion that it was bad. <laughs> because uh, you really need this Viridian Longbow to function. Yep. Unless he's splashing red or something for other pingers, but it doesn't look like he's doing that. Uh, well, he is pretty stalled out on lands, but so are we, so I guess I can't talk. Oh, but it doesn't matter, because he can just play another fucking thing. With the reach touch and death. Reach, reach and death. <laughs> reach and death, yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, hmm. This is uh, quite the pickle we find ourselves in here. Okay, four mana, that's fine. Um, I think we just... We could run out... Have our ghouls and then... Yeah. Or actually, no. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we uh, run out the other ghoul razor in hopes we get the gem palm polluter back. Sure. Yeah, I think that's the play. And, okay. uh, yeah. Carnifage too? Or... Yeah, and Carnifage after that. Sure. Because I think the only way we're winning this game is if we actually manage to burn him out. And the only way that's going to be possible is with uh, the Gem Palm Polluter and the Grey Merchant. Alright, what do we got? Let's see. Let's roll the dice. The ghoul raising dice. You might want to not cover your mouth when it's facing the microphone. I'll do whatever I want. We got Carnifage. Alright, that's fine. Uh, just Carnifage then. Nope. Okay. Right on. Should I attack or no? No, I'm going to attack. No, no attacks. Uh, I think we're just going to have to accept uh, losing a creature a turn here. Which is kind of a bummer if you think about it. I don't like losing creatures. Um. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Think of how bad our fucking 3-3 three, three guy is right now. Man, you're just disappointing me, Dan. He's gonna, he's gonna draw that too, aren't I? All right. Man, so if we come this far just to lose to fucking death, to, oh my god, we've he's got won another, one game, man. We've come pretty far. <laughs> the farthest. No, we've won all our games so far. Well, I mean, one match, I guess. We've won two matches. Oh yeah. <laughs> it counts. Shut up. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Definitely counts. Uh, which guy did he kill? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, the, uh, the other guy. Okay, just run out three guys here, and then next turn we're going to try and uh, Grey Merchant him to kill him. Seem good. Yeah. He won't even see it coming. He won't even... I wonder if he's going to see this coming. <laughs> All right, we're going to lose two guys here, so we're going to... Are we? Well, he can... He will gray... He will kill something in response to the Grey Merchant. Right? Sure. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, I've got a lot of black mana symbols on the thing. Wait, do we have an intimidate guy? Yeah. Why? No, he killed our intimidate. Okay. Guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, why haven't we been swinging with that? Seems like it would be good. No, I decided he's gonna ping it off. I guess. No, well, he would ping it off, but I mean, it prevents you know, him from pinging something else off. Yeah. Exactly. Even though that's our best. Project. All right, he's gonna blow up our other intimidate guy. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So even if he does. I think we might be able to get him unless he gains life this turn. <laughs> My death touch ping life gain deck. <laughs> so good! <laughs> Alright, if he plays land and Viridian Longbow, we could be in trouble. <laughs> Actually, no, that doesn't even get there. We know, yeah, it does, because it's uh, one to play and three to equip, I think. I think. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I can't... I'm not even looking at the screen. <laughs> uh, well, we win, so... Uh, probably don't pay the life. <laughs> sure. You gotta put him on the stack. Oh, for fuck's sake. Isn't magic fun, Dan? Are we having fun? So don't pay the life, you say? No, no life. Uh, you can have removal sp I don't think that even saves him, though. You know? There he is. I just played the guy. Just play him. No, not him. Love <laughs> 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 the skulking knight. He loves the skulk. <laughs> oh, what you got, boy? Alright, let's see here. I don't think he's got anything that's actually going to... I don't think he can live through this. Nope. Nice! <laughs> Somehow we got there. Alright. I don't know how we got there, but we did. Alright. Alright, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Alright, so for the sideboard... Uh, Kumbaj Witches seems alright. 
Wait, does it seem all right? Uh, most of his stuff had one toughness, but then it also just lets him ping us. Well, unless our Kubot witches it, that, that. Uh, Highborn Ghoul, it didn't... Well, okay, if we take out... If we put in Kumbad Witch, we take out Highborn Ghoul. Sure. And Shepherd of Rot also dies to Kumbad Witches. Um... I guess that's true, yeah. Uh, well, what we'd want in, I think, is probably the Witches and the Chainer's Edicts. Because we would just want to be, like, hard control against this guy. How's this doing? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's not the worst. Okay, so we want to take out Ghoul Razors and Highborn Ghouls for Kumbad Witches and Chainer's Edicts. Yeah. How do I... Oh, there we go. Uh, take out... And also take out the Skulking Knights. And we also take out two more. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, Skulking Knight. And let's see. What else should we take out? Um, Shepherd of Rod could be one. Two Shepherds, or one Shepherd... Uh, two Shepherds, because it has one toughness, I think, is the way to go. Why don't we take out the Dragscape zombie? Yeah, that's true. We can take out that as well. Yeah. Because Shepherd also represents a source of burn if we can't attack through his creatures. Exactly. Uh, maybe even the stink weeds in for Shepherd might be okay. No, probably not. It's probably yeah, I don't think that really does. a little too overzealous. Yeah, I don't something. think that does much for us. Uh, I think this is the sideboard. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going. We're doing it. All right, let's see what he brings in for us. <laughs> is it more death touch pingers? <laughs> All right, somehow we won the game without sideboarding, so I don't see how we could lose at this point. You're right. Uh, uh, this is... It's fine. Yeah, this is good, because yeah. if he kills her... Yeah, all right. <laughs> yep. I'm keeping yeah. it. And I'm going to hit OK to pass my turn. And he's going to... Gain a life. He's got some life gain going on. That's OK, because we're just going to hit him right back. Yeah. Okay, that guy's good. Uh, yeah, I just swamped Carnophage, and uh, unless we draw more swamps, we're probably going to be looking to play Baron more instead of Cyclone. Sure. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, good. I, I'm actually feeling pretty confident in this hand. Oh, I didn't even notice we had two Nameless Inversions because the microphone was in the way. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that either because I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> I think this is my house, but. Oh, that's pretty brutal. A death touch guy. Uh, I think we just swing into that, actually. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because we have so many things that can get Carnophage back. Oh, and we got the swamp, swamp we need. Do you think we want to Nameless that instead, or...? Um, I actually just like attacking, because, I mean, trading this isn't the worst thing ever. Sure. Because, uh... Yeah, just attack into that. Okay. And, uh, because we can get it back with all sorts of, all manner of stuff, and if he wants to trade this for that, you know? Sure. That's, that's cool. Uh, okay. And then, I think King, we could forward to cycle one of these Baron Moors. Okay, that's, yeah, uh, we're gonna play Baron Moor and cycle the other one. Sure. Sound good? Alright. And we can do that now, or on his turn, it doesn't really matter. We'll do it on his turn, because I Just wanna... keep him, surprise him, wanna <laughs> pretend like we have a disfigure or something, right? Yeah, exactly. That'd be pretty good. Should run those out of sideboard. Alright. How much death touch does this guy have? Just, well, the normal amount, I guess. <laughs> the hand of Silumgar! And uh, EOT cycle, remember? Remember? Don't forget. Don't forget. I know you're gonna fucking forget. <laughs> <laughs> Skip my turn. <laughs> Okay, get a swamp. That's, right. that's, a, that's a fair trade that's for more, I guess. I'll take the swamp. Ooh, and more of those guys get back our two nameless inversions for the rest of time. <laughs> All right. Do you think I... What do I do here? Goals, goal Razor? Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to ping us our Goal Razor next turn, so I think it's better just to have the Goal Razor out. You're right. And uh, we'll get back our Carnivagi as well. For sure. For sure we'll get some pressure on play. Absolutely. And uh, we will have two nameless inversions to back it up. And uh, if that fails, we also have Google Calls Chant to get two more Nameless Inversions, and we have another one to get two more Nameless Inversions. And then we also <laughs> stacked up all those sacrifice things, so... Uh, let's hope he doesn't play Hexproof cards. We're playing uh, Tribal Zombie. Well, even if we do, we've got the Make Him Sacrifice a thing, so... We basically have six Nameless Inversions in hand. Um, no blocks. You're right. I'll take the trades. I'll trade all day. And by that I mean I won't... Tr oh. Okay, that guy's going to be eating a nameless inversion. You're right. <laughs> the inverted nameless one. Oh, good. All right. 
so then we have all the mana we ever needed now. So yeah, that guy, that guy, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> then uh, Carnage, I guess. Should I just leave Ghoul Colors chant up? You think or Ghoul Colors chant is a sorcery? Or no, I'm sorry, the Nameless Inversion. Um, we could do that, but I like having more pressure in play because we're never gonna run out of Nameless Inversions. <laughs> there could come a day. Yeah, don't forget to attack, dude. <sighs> I know, Rob. I'm not a little baby bitch boy. <laughs> Teeny weeny baby bitch boy. How do you do, Dan? <laughs> How do you do, Dan? <laughs> okay. You got a pretty mouth. Tell Hobo Joey is a pretty mouth. <laughs> no. But we can't see him, though. I'm sure your mouth is very beautiful. All right. Uh, see, this is what happens when you don't draw your fucking... Should I... You think I should block this or no? No, just take it. You're right. Uh, we want to kill him fast and also kill all of his creatures. Okay. He has Goblin Piker in play. We have two Grizzly Bears He's in got him. another fucking thing with Death Touch. Oof. All right. Uh, that's fine. Is it? It's it's good. <laughs> I okay. like it. Uh, pay to life. Pay, pay life. one life arena here. Ooh, Grey Merchant. That'll come in handy. But we're not going to play it yet. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Obviously, Rob. <laughs> some kind of a dingus. <laughs> like some Grey Merchant. Uh, should I... Do you think I should Nameless Inversion Yeah, that Nameless then? Inversion yeah, that. Right. And then chant back the two Nameless Inversions. Wow. And then we have Nameless Inversion up next turn. <laughs> And one more waiting in the wings. Uh, Choose the two target zombie cards. Oh, gotcha. Nice. Don't pay too much for that. <laughs> All right. Can I? Oh. And at this point, you should enter the scoop phase. <laughs> like, oh, that seems really good. Okay. It uh, it doesn't seem bad. <laughs> two more removal spells in hand. What's up, dude? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. yeah, I gotcha. Hit okay, Dan. Well, if I keep hitting okay, I'm going to skip my whole turn again. Oh, what's he got? Tragic oh, slip. That, oh, but I did kill his thing. Fuck. Why would you kill that one? <laughs> oh, I see. He's like worried about another Google Colors chant, I guess. Well, he's right to be worried about that. I suppose he is. <laughs> That's actually very true. Uh, we're going to take it. And see if he plays it. another creature, and sure. if he doesn't, we'll just kill that creature on his end step. Sound good? Okay. And if I... Uh, God, he's got... Everything is so cheap. <laughs> everything has death touch. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I'll just kill it now. Yeah. Yeah, seems good. And, uh... Swamp. Okay, this turn, I think we just swing in with our 2 2, play the Grey Merchant, and we can also Google Colors chant back Carnophage and the other one if you think that's good. Or we could wait on it to possibly get back another Nameless Inversion. Um, I think uh, Nameless Inversions are going to be the key to this game. We only have Carnivage. Oh, yeah, we've got another Nameless Inversion. Um, he's got to run out of gas eventually, right? He's had four cards. He's so, probably sitting on, like, big stuff that he can't actually play. Yeah, I think the way to go here is just cast the Grey Merchant and hold off on the Ghoul Gully's chant for now. Sure. We're on the main phase we can do now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Stop time-walking me! <laughs> nice. Okay. Gain a little bit of life back. Or, actually, we could even block with the Grey Merchant, kill this guy, and Ghoul Gully's chant back the Grey Merchant, I guess. Tap too much mana, by the way. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, well. Okay. It's just so we can have six. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so do you think we want to block that or no? Uh, I mean, if we're just going to be able to do it again, we might as well, huh? Yeah, but I think, like I said, we just want maximum nameless inversions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. It's puked all over myself. Oh, there he goes. The bladed pinions. Okay, so definitely you're just going to look to nameless inversion everything that he plays for the rest of time. Sure. Sorry, dude. We're never going to run out. <laughs> and also, uh, we have four Chainer's Edicts in the deck. And we're two mana away from being able to cast it and flash it back. Now one mana away from that. So why don't we just uh, 
kill one of his guys and then get back our thing. And, and then, then kill the other guy or something? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> get, uh, get the two kill skulls back. <laughs> so many nameless inversions. Boom! This guy's gotta be just like pissing himself right now. Like He's anger. urinating all over himself. I don't know <laughs> where I was going with that one, but... And we still have nameless inversion of. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're now out of gas, though. Well, that's when we start drawing gas, or we just start beating him with really bad grizzly bears or something. <laughs> They're not even the worst grizzly bears you Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> See, he's got nothing. He ran out of creatures? Uh, you can only have so many shitty, cheap, death-touch creatures. He's got to have something like... Oh, my God. Well, we have enough mana to now cast the Chainer's Edict and Flash and Bag. If we ever fucking gone. draw it. Our sideboard has never Attack. mattered. Boom. All right. Lethal on board. Lethal detected. Even and if he uh, plays something, we can just nameless inversion it. Oh. Oh, no. Ambush Viper. We're just... He never runs out of cheap death-touch things, but we are going to kill back nameless inversion. Do it now before he enters his block. Okay. What if that was a trap? He was, uh, it's not quite as good as Ashcoat Bear. <laughs> he tried. He tried his darndest. He, if he battles through six fucking nameless inversions. Yeah. Oh, well, he... Oh! Three and oh so far with the zombies deck, if you oh, count. Oh, we're, uh, doing a five, huh? Uh, four. Four? Four. Okay. Four. Just because that was, you know, he got so much of a... No, it counted. A backlash from the bear's deck. Anyway, uh, Fragrance of Rob, aka Magic of Dan, coming here with the Popper MTG, playing some sweet zombies. Uh, stay tuned for sweet. match four, but basically it's match three. Basically.